2024 is here and it will be a big year for politics. Sacramento Mayor Daryl Steinberg is not seeking re-election, so voters will elect a new mayor in the capital city. And former Stockton Mayor Anthony Silva is back. He recently announced he's now running for city council in District 2. The outspoken politician who once put on a warrior's helmet at the State of the City address acknowledged his past controversies right here on ABC 10, including pleading guilty to one felony charge of conflict of interest as part of a plea deal. I've learned from my mistakes. I'm, I'm a little bit older now. I'm a father. And I think that uh, Stockton needs a lawyer right now. And then there's the race for the White House. Former President Donald Trump will appear on the California ballot for the Republican primary. Governor Gavin Newsom says people should be allowed to vote their choice. And Secretary of State Shirley Weber added that removing a candidate from the ballot must be based on the law and the Constitution. It all comes after Trump was taken off the ballot in Colorado and Maine. And the Supreme Court will soon weigh in. Not just anybody can be president of the United States. If you're participating in an overthrow of the government, then that seems like a reasonable grounds to exclude a candidate from the ballot. I, it's consequential if the Supreme Court rules he can't be on that ballot in Colorado, which means there'll be efforts in many states to keep him off the ballot. And at some point, that could affect the electoral college margin if Trump's not able to compete in certain states. Don't forget, we're just weeks away from the first in the nation Iowa caucus. Will someone other than Trump come out on top? And if we are indeed heading for Joe Biden, Donald Trump rematch, who will voters choose? Polls show Biden's approval ratings at record lows, and he's trailing Trump in key battleground states. By the way, did I mention lawmakers have just weeks to avoid a government shutdown? They have until January 19th to reach a funding agreement. It's one of two big factors this year, concerns about the economy and the president's age. By the way, I've been doing this a long time. I'm I know I don't look that old, I know. <laughs> I'm a little under 103. So yes, get ready for all those political ads to return. 2024 is here, and election season is about to kick into high gear.